for staying with us. This is still Why Info Money on your favorite channel, Y254. If you've just joined us, we had a two very riveting conversations, one with Brian Saba 101 and a Stephanie Ayata. And in case you missed any one of them, Tafadali Kindly and Apale YouTube at Y54 channel. So if you just had someone laughing, it was Brian. <laughs> You can find it at Brian Sakwa 101 on a social media handle. So, I want you to be thinking sweet things. Just yumminess, all right? Yes, because so I feel very honored to be here on this last interview of the day. Guest Kwanza, she's of importance. Very, as beautiful as she is, talented. What are you saying, Good morning. Good morning. This is our humble home. Thank you so much. We to meet you guys so that we get get serious with this. Eh, Kevo, stand by. Mali uta zoom zoom kwa ma yam yam na ma wow wow. Yeah, please tell us who you are. Your camera is on there. Thank you so much for having me. First of all, and uh, good morning. My name is Esther Masharia. Mm -hmm. So I'm the founder of Ibeka's Creations. Mm -hmm. And let me say, I'm, a, I'm an award-winning baker. Mm -hmm. I'm all about sweetness. Mm -hmm. Like, if you see me in Ajotun Mautamu, mm -hmm. we do cakes, mm -hmm. yogurts, ice cream, mm -hmm. milkshakes. Like, we are all about Mautamu. We are the flavor of your life. Wow. Um, <coughs> I've been asked that question before. Not, I don't know how to answer it. <laughs> uh -huh. I think I eat in moderation. Ah, no, that's fine. Yeah, I use moderation. Mm. But basically, this is what we do for a living. We train also mm. on how to bake, decorate. It doesn't matter whether you want to do it at home okay. or just as a side hustle mm -hmm. or you want to like. We teach kids as well, by the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to nurture some talents and uh, since they're very young. So we do all that, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sijaza, no, honestly, at a conception bad, though, but I can already see what my kid will be doing after school. But it's, <laughs> it's something, <laughs> it's really good to start teaching kids early. Mm -hmm. It helps them to avoid their all, uh, screen time all the time. Mm. And to do the same with my games. Mm. It's something they, I know kids who are making a living out of this. What I said, you are just a school fees. Yes. Hallelujah. Some of them are less than 10. Woo! Yeah. So, so, that's what they mean when they say, I'm going to take it's a hand actually. <laughs> That's the plate. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. We're going to learn new things every day. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to decorate this cake as, as we have conversation. Yeah, sure. So Tanzia now, perhaps maybe okay, Glovis, Glovis, guys, we gotta be safe. We gotta be safe. Yes. Mm -hmm. So tell me when did you start this whole situation? When what inspired you? How long have you been doing it? Uh, did you just start it yourself? Do you have a part in you know, this I'm English, but It's okay, I'll answer all because <laughs> I have answers for all. Yeah, uh -huh. So we started baking in twenty fifteen. Mm -hmm. What made me start baking mm. is um, I wanted to learn how to make bread at home. Because that time I cook one aduka karibu naishi. And also, I'm very passionate about healthy living. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to learn how to make bread mm -hmm. so I can make it in a more healthier way. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is to trim. Mm -hmm. There are people who like crust. There are those who don't like. Mm -hmm. So which type are you? I decorate with crust or without crust? Me, but at me, I have no problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I'll decorate it with crust. Okay. It's just me who doesn't like crust. But, oh. I, but I have to realize that I'm not the client. <laughs> so I'm not the one who's going to eat the cake. <laughs> So are we layering it? Or so we are going to start by, we just put this, this is cream, uh -huh. whipping cream. Can be dairy or non-dairy. Mm -hmm. so There's just non-dairy with it? Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. this is non-dairy actually. So you just put some on the board mm -hmm. and then we'll start layering, filling and layering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I started baking in 2015, mm -hmm. I started with bread. Mm -hmm. I didn't really intend to do it as a business. Mm -hmm. I I'd be lying to you if I tell you I did. Mm -hmm. But when I was learning how to make bread, mm. where I learned from, I noticed some people were actually making some cakes. I'd never seen a cake being decorated before. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, this looks a bit interesting. Please notice oh. that you put the bottom part. Bottom up. Uh, like, I mean, the top part What's at the below? bottom. Why? Because the bottom part is usually leveled oh. and you want the cake to be leveled. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you'll put the last one. Okay. Yeah, you can come and put some cream and then All right. I'll show you how we do oh, it. Sorry. So, so I started baking. Mm -hmm. uh, I started baking bread, but mm -hmm. then I also thought of mm -hmm. 
doing the cakes as well, mm -hmm. but for fun. Mm. And then I remember when I was coming from college, mm -hmm. somebody saw me carrying the, the cakes I had baked in college mm -hmm. and asked me, oh, you bake? Mm -hmm. And who is me to say no? <laughs> I said yes, I do. <laughs> That's my girl. Uh -huh. I actually remember that cake that I was carrying, uh -huh. I actually sold it. Wow, on the spot? Yes, on the spot. Hey, should I put more? Just a little more to cover here. Okay. So anyway, so mm -hmm. that's how it started. But mm -hmm. then, because I'm very passionate about healthy living, mm -hmm. I wanted to learn how to make wheat-free cakes. Have you heard of wheat-free? The gluten-free. Mm. Yeah, the gluten-free cakes. Mm -hmm. So that's actually where I started my baking journey. Mm -hmm. That's what I was known for. But then when I decided to do it full-time, mm -hmm. I realized it's not very sustainable. Mm. You want to make a client work with Mengoja Sana for this cake. Mm -hmm. You need to, after some time, after you start baking, mm -hmm. you have to give yourself a time limit. Mm -hmm. Like for us to finish baking, I mean decorating one cake, we do it maximum 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That so can fast. I show you the next step? Yes, please. All right. So yeah. And uh, I started doing gluten-free cakes and mm -hmm. eggless cakes, sugar-free cakes. Yeah. Uh, I, I really can relate because some of my family members don't eat eggs. Uh -huh. And so I many people are mm. actually allergic mm. to eggs. So many people, really? Yeah, kuna twingi. Squeezy, people have so many allergies nowadays. Mm -hmm. So you find that even the cakes we take to school, mm. uh, you're told to take eggless cakes. Cause, just in case. Yes, just in case somebody is allergic. Mm. We also do even sugar-free cakes. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's how it started basically. Then we opened the first outlet on Kiambu Road. Mm -hmm. Before then, I used to run a mini supermarket because I used to live in Dubai. Let me backtrack Kidogo. I see that's where <coughs> you start. Actually, you used to live where? Uh -huh. I used to live in Dubai. Uh -huh. So when I relocated, mm -hmm. I relocated to come and be self employed. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't sure where I'll start. Mm -hmm. So I first opened a mini supermarket. Mm -hmm. Then in 20, that was in 2014. Mm -hmm. In 2018, mm -hmm. I had to close under not very nice circumstances. Mm -hmm. Actually, my, let me say, uh, my business was brought down. Let me put it that way. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so I automatically became a full-time baker because I had the skills already. Mm -hmm. And I became a full-time baker and now I had to open an outlet because babies came. Mm -hmm. And I was getting too tired, working from home and checking on the babies at the same time. You're a mom? Yes, I'm a mom of two. I should have mentioned first, the first thing. Damn, you look good for mommy. Really, okay. thank you. I'm a mom of two. Hey, okay. Four and a half and almost three. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it was a bit, I don't know, it's nearly good and it's Like mm -hmm. I'm baking at home, the kids are there touching the cakes and everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I opened the yeah. first outlet on... Mm -hmm. Kiambu Road. Mm -hmm. That's when I, I was expectant with the first one. Mm. And uh, yeah, the rest is history. But now I opened another one during COVID mm. in Siokimau mm. because there was uh, demand for it. And that time I was residing in Siokimau. So mm. I thought it would be easier for me to take care of my kids mm. and run an outlet. Mm. And also there was so much demand for training. Mm. Now, let me also mention that you also deal in... Uh, value addition to dairy mm -hmm. which is yogurt we do organic yogurt mm -hmm. which we are really popularly known for mm -hmm. so we do organic probiotic yogurt like it's chemical free preservative free additive free mm -hmm. so i had started making already and i didn't have space for it mm -hmm. and people wanted to be trained on how to make yogurt and i can train from home mm -hmm. so that's why i opened the second outlet so mm -hmm. that i'm able to train people mm -hmm. Uh, at least I have a space. And so far we've trained almost a thousand people around the country. Wow. Yes. Permission to just be in awe that you had a business that didn't work out very well, but you did not, you know, call it quits. The end of the world is here. We are, we are finished. You just up and went and used the next skill you had. Oh, my friend. In fact, I tell people, mm -hmm. the good thing with Kaziami Kono, nobody can take it from you. You can do it anywhere in the world. Mm. So as you can see, let me first break that. I see this on, on, on social, uh, social media because I'm really mad about their uh, recipes. So this is the thing that... So this is called a bench scraper. Is, it's not meant for what I'm doing. Ah. But we found a use for it. Uh -huh. It's meant to be, uh, scrub the bench. 
-huh. It's a bench scraper. Be bench, yeah, yeah, like yeah, bench, a kitchen bench. Uh -huh. like, let's say if you're rolling the icing, uh -huh. he had icing, and Yemenita had icing or fondant icing. Uh -huh. So you use it to scrape off the icing. Uh -huh. But I like using it to smoothen the cakes. Okay, okay. So we've put the cream all over, uh -huh. and now I want to smoothen it. Okay. Yeah. I find it easier to use than using the, this is called a palette knife. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see it has no sharp edges. Mm -hmm. So basically it's used for mm. uh, just applying the cream on it. I'm so tempted to just, okay, I'll be doing so after this. But as you can see, line. you start from one side, <laughs> going to the other side. Like mm -hmm. you can't go right and then left. So it depends on if you're left-handed, if you're right-handed. Mm. This is for the sake of consistency. Yes. As you can see, it's getting smoother. And it helps that the, t the table can move. Yes. Okay. Oh, this is called a turntable. Turn it's table. meant for that. Like a DJ's. A yes. yes. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. as you can see, I've smoothened the sides. Uh -huh. uh, I should have told you to do this, but let me first do it's the okay. top. Mm -hmm. I'll show you where you'll come in. So then you go and smoothen the top. My yum yum. Mm -hmm. You're wondering where all this is going, right? The cream mm. that I'm removing. Mm. <laughs> you can use it in another cake. Actually, I would advise you when you're decorating a cake, mm. don't take the cream back there, put it in a different bowl. It's just that the space you're working with is not that big, mm -hmm. so that you don't throw back the crumbs inside. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, I like how you uh, applied generously the cream all around. And the then you so remove it. So this was it. the purpose, Jude. Yes. Oh, okay. So that when you smoothen out, mm -hmm. I eat a kiwa, a naked cake. We call it naked cake. It's actually a theme. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a cake, you know, nanga ma cream nusu nusu. So in a tangwa naked cake. It's on purpose? Yes. Wow. It's a theme and it's uh, lately trending. We've been doing lots of wedding cakes mm -hmm. with that theme. So I want us to remove what's on the board mm -hmm. so that at least your board will be clean. Hygiene is very important. Very. This, this when you're in the food business, mm -hmm. you don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. And it's clean as you go, not do, 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 nah, then clean. Nah, nah, nah. You'll find your room is so cumbersome, like your kitchen. Mm -hmm. So I want to do something interesting. Mm -hmm. Let's say you have a baby shower cake, mm -hmm. like you want to do a baby shower theme, and it's a girl. So you're going to put pink. Most of that's mostly what we do. Mm -hmm. So I want to do something called marble effect. Mm -hmm. Okay, that Kalito accident of ours has worked out for good. Yeah. <laughs> you wanted to dilute my cream. So you just put a little bit there. Okay. A little bit there. Like in patches. Mm -hmm. There. There. For me, mm -hmm. decorating cakes come so naturally. I can see you're not struggling at all. I can do it in the dark. Wow. Is it therapeutic for you? Very. Yeah? I actually, I don't think, I tell people I'll never retire from baking. Mm -hmm. Because for me, it's therapy. The things I do are very, like, I feel it's so therapeutic, coming up with a design, mm -hmm. especially those intricate designs. Mm -hmm. So you're going to smoothen out again. Okay. Using the... Bench. Yeah, make sure that part is clean. Mm -hmm. So that it doesn't leave your cake with some patches, mm -hmm. I mean with some dents or something. Mm -hmm. So you're going to, the same thing we did before. Okay. I'm sure you've seen Magic. something like that before, right? Magic. All right, all right. I'm sure you've seen something like that before, yes, right? Yes, but I've never known how it's done. How we do it. Now I'm giving you a business secret. Oh. So this is where I want you to come in. Uh -huh. I want to do something called piping. Piping. We want to pipe in some mm -hmm. rosettes. Mm -hmm. I'll show you what exactly we do. So mm -hmm. this is called a piping bag. Mm -hmm. the, these are disposable one, mm -hmm. and there are some others that are made of silicone material. Mm -hmm. And then this metallic thing you're here, you're seeing here. Mm -hmm. They're not cheap, by the way. Like this one, you'd buy like for 300 bob. Mm -hmm. This is a metallic that thing. One, one. It's called a nozzle. Uh -huh. They come in different designs, depending on what you want to do. This the basket mm -hmm. with this one is called um, for the rosettes. Eh? Mm -hmm. So they even have numbers. Oh. Like this one is 1M. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you don't really to you don't need to buy everything when you're starting. Uh -huh. Okay. So yeah. Speaking of buying things and, and starting, mm -hmm. is it 
You need like a, a whole large amount of capital not to have start baking. That's a mistake I did when I was starting. Oh. Yes, I did that mistake. Uh -huh. I s bought too many things. There's a thing as too many. My friend, let me tell you, when I train... <laughs> let me tell you mine. <laughs> when I train you, I give you a list uh -huh. of the things that are very essential. Because mm -hmm. I made that mistake. For me, I didn't have somebody to advise me. Mm. This, like, to give me a list, start with this. So, every money that was coming in, Shui. if I see something that is baking related, I don't even know the use. You just I just buy it. Mm. So, that's the mistake I did. Mm -hmm. And I keep saying, if there's something I would want to do, especially for my students, mm -hmm. or those people maybe I mentor, is to show them not to do the mistakes I did. Yeah. So okay. I'm very particular about that. So you don't need much. Mm -hmm. Let me say starting baking business is slightly more expensive than something like yogurt. Because yogurt you need about maybe five, six thousand to start off. Mm -hmm. And with that five, six thousand, you're able to make about 500 liters of yogurt. Eh, yes. liters. Yes. At a, actually, yeah, about 500 liters, the package to start. Uh -huh. Baking, you need some little more accessories, mm -hmm. but still not very expensive because with, even with that 5K, mm -hmm. you can buy a Kahan mixer that is about 2.5. Mm -hmm. Then you buy to Nozol Kamahutu, mm -hmm. just the things that you must need. Mm -hmm. And then as business continues, you can now use that money mm -hmm. to keep building your business. You plow the money back to the business. Mm -hmm. Instead of you, Siju Chukwe loan, Ushindo Kulipa. So yeah, I always advise you, let the business grow itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's very, very smart. So we're going to put something called mm -hmm. rosette. Mm -hmm. You're coming to do this. Where? I, I may not do it as well as you. I've done the first one. Okay, do the second. I'll do the <laughs> second one. Mm, I can hear Stefan laughing at uh -huh. Stephen is So you start <laughs> at the middle, uh -huh. like this, mm -hmm. and then you take right, go back. Nikamu mm unachora -hmm. Ah, okay, I see the E. Yeah, okay. I know it looks easy. Just come here and let's see what you can do. It does not look easy. <laughs> <laughs> you are the one who's making it look easy. Yep. All right, so, uh huh. You start in the middle. Okay, am I, am I afraid to press no. it? Uh -huh. Just twist it here so that the cream doesn't come out. Oh, there's a very high possibility yes. that. Yes, and now uh -huh. you keep pressing. Okay. Nikamu na nataku andika na kalamu. Okay. But rangi lazima uifinye. Like okay. you have to press. I like how you explain. You must be such a wonderful <laughs> teacher. I love training. I didn't know. Yeah. I, I didn't know. I loved doing it uh -huh. until I started doing. Aha! Uh -huh. You're doing so well. Oh my gosh, guys! Oh I should have done this before. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! You I look like you've done this before. Not even. Not Perfect. even. Perfect. Try not to go too much to the inside because you're creating a border. Okay. So, but you're doing really well. Just press a little more so mm -hmm. that zifanani. Mhm. Mm you see, you're doing well. Okay, just try banana. the next one <laughs> to, for a first time. Uh -huh. Believe me, you're doing well. Try to lay it on top of the other one, like I did here. Oh, okay, so I don't need the yeah, spaces. So start here. So I start here. And then, then go mm -hmm. all the way there. Lafuna finya. No, no, kini chukulia customers. Ah! At this rate. Oh, no, you're total No, but it's true. You're doing <laughs> so well. Ah. Uh, all right, so as I am very concentrated in doing this, tell me. They, they tell me you are a survivor of gender-based violence mm -hmm. and you have already started your own NGO. By that letter, she's missed something. Abu, tell us about <laughs> you being beautiful <laughs> again. Mm -hmm. I was a finalist in Mrs. Universe 2022-2023 uh, mm -hmm. and currently the Mrs. Universe Machakos County. Mm -hmm. So basically what Mrs. Universe stands for mm -hmm. is to try and put an end to gender-based violence. Mm -hmm. And that's the main reason why I contested. Oh, I don't have to move. I can... <laughs> forgot. Uh -huh. That's the main, but you're doing so well, by the way. Oh, That's okay. the main reason why uh -huh. I contested, because uh -huh. I feel like there are so many people who don't really have a voice, mm -hmm. and they're going through some kind of abuse. Mm -hmm. It could be emotional, could be uh, financial, could be mm -hmm. physical. Oh, yeah, I've never thought of financial abuse. Oh, yes. Like, you're at home, but mm. uh, like, mm. maybe your spouse is not even, like, let me just say, you're being denied of finances, mm. let's say, to provide for the family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and I'm talking about maybe in marriage mm -hmm. specifically, that's where mostly you'd find, I'm talking about financial abuse. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, and it's something I've experienced a bit of it, and I thought, I mean, why not? Mm -hmm. Let me mm, How do you just that? put one more okay. so that we can do something at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So I thought, how about that woman? Because it took me a lot of going through depression and something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've heard of so many cases, people losing their lives maybe to depression, you know? Mm. So I thought, now that I was able to get out of it, how about I encourage somebody, I empower another woman who may not be able to speak out and who may not be able to get out of such kind of a uh, setup, mm -hmm. maybe because they are not economically empowered. Mm -hmm. So what we do, um, I recently registered an NGO under the name Brighter Bolder Beginnings. Mm -hmm. Just as the name suggests, you're starting afresh, bolder this time, and no brighter, you know more. Just to encourage that person who is going through abuse or who just got sort of abuse. You could be a victim or a survivor. Just to let them know that you can start all over again, you mm -hmm. can rebuild your confidence, mm -hmm. you can rebuild your self-esteem, mm -hmm. and it's not the end of, of life. Mm -hmm. So I say we teach people how to fish, we don't give them fish. So, yeah. Yes, it's very biblical, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, mm -hmm. what I do is basically to give people skills mm -hmm. and uh, to empower them economically. And through that, if maybe somebody may want to be connected to an organization like FIDA, I can give you a guideline on, of how to do it. Some people, maybe all they need is a counselor. Mm. Some people even are financially able, but they're still going through abuse. They just need somebody to let them realize that what you're going through is not normal. You know? Thank you for saying that because when, when you're actually I'm also a survivor of gender based violence. Oh but that's wow. a that's a story for another day. That's but it's 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 the worst part is you go through life thinking what's happening to you is very normal. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. I'm listening, yeah. Yeah, it's very normal and, mm -hmm. and getting out of that space by the time you're realizing there's so many things you have to unlearn. Yeah. Where and then <laughs> you made to believe Yeah. Well, Did you see girl. what I was doing? Uh, <laughs> You made to believe that uh -huh. it's okay for you to go through abuse, that you uh -huh. Try to not to use both hands. Okay. You put so much pressure. Just relax. Watch how you flow. Okay. You can hold here if you feel like okay. you need to. To be precise with it. But you're trying, really. For a first time, uh -huh. this is amazing. I don't know what to do with but anyway, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's about letting somebody know that you're actually worth it. Mm -hmm. Because most abusers will make, especially narcissists, mm. they want to leave you in a state, so, such a bad state, where you can't even go anywhere. You've been separated from all your friends, mm -hmm. all your family, and you really feel like you're nothing. So mm -hmm. you have nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. So it's just basically to create that space for somebody who wants to talk to someone, mm -hmm. to encourage them if, let's say, they've lost their career. Some of them, they actually have their career at place and everything, mm -hmm. but they're staying because of the kids. And let me also mention, mm -hmm. I'm not talking about GBV just in the marriage setup. Mm -hmm. There's also children, let's say girls, who've been sexually abused. Mm -hmm. And the reason why they're exposed to an environment like that mm -hmm is because maybe after school they can't afford the small pleasures like small makeup, lipstick. Mm. So they tend to move towards mm -hmm. maybe uh, the opposite gender, mm -hmm. let me say a man, mm. because they can't afford those things. So maybe because of 200, she's looking for 200, uh -huh. so she ends up being abused and she's thinking, mm. okay, but he's going to give me money. But in the real sense, mm -hmm. maybe you didn't even give consent. Uh -huh. It's just that you're looking at, okay, I'm going to get money out of this. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, it's not, it's not just about the uh, marital abuse. I mean, uh, in the marriage setup. Mm -hmm. There's so much abuse going on, even at the workplace. Mm -hmm. You know, people being sexually abused and even um, verbal abuse is still abuse. How do you how do you advise someone to deal with that? Especially when, for example, you are my boss and you keep speaking to me in a certain way. How how do you advise me to deal with that? Especially, you know, you, you oh, you're scared of losing your job. Thank you for saying it out loud. 
and like that's the person at the highest level not say highest but above you because i would say if let's say it's your immediate manager just to take a bold step let it be known that this person is doing this to you mm. if it's possible for you to even do a small recording mm -hmm. that you can even report to let's say a police station because wow yeah police is story now Mandamanos only. Uh, no. Actually, nowadays there is even a department for GBV. Oh. Yeah. So you find that you're able to even call mm -hmm. or and report, especially if you have, let's say, evidence. You can have somebody maybe doing a recording. Mm -hmm. Let's say if it's verbal, you can, you can even record, mm -hmm. let's say, using your phone. Mm -hmm. If it's something that is physical or maybe uh, touching you anyhow, inappropriately, you, know, inappropriately so. you can have it recorded. Okay. Maybe and if it's a student and a teacher type situation, and maybe... No, that one you can report even to the ministry. Ah. I mean, I've had so many people reporting. If the head teacher is not listening to you, mm. go to the next person, maybe at the county level or something. And they're really taking these things very seriously. Wow. Yes. They're taking this... Sasa Shidi Nakwanga, emotional hainanga evidence. So it is for you to decide to take that step. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not, this is not what I deserve. I deserve better. Mm -hmm. So it's for you to take that step and decide, you know what? I'm, I, I can't just remain here just because somebody feels like they are in control of my space mm -hmm. or my job. Mm -hmm. Because for, and that's the problem. Most of the times when you tell somebody you're going through abuse and it's not physical, uh, uh, Come out up with your serious ah, see, yeah, see serious, see, but you mm. And that's why most people have, because the stigma also mm -hmm. of, let's say, working out of a relationship that is abusive, mm. so many people are not able to talk. And I think that's why I say my training is not just about the baking. Mm -hmm. I try to understand that person's background. Oh, yeah. You're Especially, <laughs> I try. Uh -huh. I try because I, I've, I've worked in those shoes. And I believe I walked in those, I was made to walk in those shoes so that I can be in urban, I, 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 I am able to inspire somebody else. I can be of help to somebody else. Otherwise, if I didn't, mm. what would I be? I would just be thinking, I look at it, at the abuse, what is that? You know, I look at so you. Uh -huh. I wouldn't really be able to say anything mm. because I don't understand. Mm. I've not walked in those shoes, but I usually say, I really love to hear women being empowered mm -hmm. because it gives you a voice. And if you're staying in a relationship, let's say in this case, maybe a relationship or marriage, you're staying because you love this person and not because of what they're providing for you. Mm -hmm. Like I tell people, God forbid you lose your spouse. You're not mourning a breadwinner. You're mm -hmm. mourning a friend, mm -hmm. a father, a companion. Mm -hmm. So your first thought is not, oh my God, what am I going to do? Oh my God, Santa Fagani, how will I pay school fees? No, mm -hmm. you're thinking, I've lost the father to my children, I've lost my friend. Mm. So the rest come after. Mm. And that only happens if you're empowered. Mm -hmm. And imagine it's, it doesn't take so much. Mm. It just takes you having simple skills like even tailoring. Mm -hmm. I have an amazing tailor who is in Kibera mm -hmm. and she does a fantastic job. Mm. And you find that you always want to promote her business. And because I love, no, no, I'm talking, at Kitokapo, mm. she goes to Mombasa. She can still wow. do mm. that business. And mm. you'll find customers telling her, I send cakes even, I've taken a wedding cake to Masai Mara. Eh. Because people believe in my art. Sorry. You know, mm. I've taken cakes even to Mombasa. Mm -hmm. People believe in your art. Mm -hmm. Like they believe in <laughs> your art. You know, I don't want anybody else's cake. So. Actually, my next question was going to be, were you not afraid to start something that is already in existence? Like, you can't do it. You can't do it. Wengi brands, even, the, the very famous, these names who are already doing what I want to do, and I don't want to try because you did not have that meeting with yourself. You see, when I started, I didn't really want to start as a business. It's my customers who made me wow. do the business. Ile, mm -hmm. alikula keki yako. And there's nothing as good as word of mouth. Mtu akwambia, nilikula keki yako. Somebody told me yesterday, a client, as I love your orange cake. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking, wow, okay. She just selected another flavor. And mm -hmm. you hear three, four customers telling you they love that flavor. Mm -hmm. Now you start recommending it to other customers because... Mm -hmm. She's only representing so many people. Mm -hmm. So that's, I just started that way. Then the other thing is, our cakes, we don't just put flavors. Mm -hmm. We put real fruits. Let's say if it's orange. We've put, like this cake, we've done three layers. Mm -hmm. There's bubble gum. That one mostly is for kids. Mm -hmm. Then 
But even adults nowadays love it. Mm -hmm. This is the orange, mm -hmm. that orange I'm telling you about. Mm -hmm. Then this pina colada. The pina colada has fresh pineapple. Yani asoko. Yum, yum. Yeah, pineapple and coconut. So we Yeah, so like, but now we have a way of incorporating such that the cake doesn't sink. So when I tell you I'm giving you a passion fruit cake, expect expect to even the flavor of mm. you can smell that passion fruit. <laughs> that what made us different, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. It made us so different because you find that most people in the market, in the industry, they're using flavors. Mm. So for you to stand out, you have to be different. The other thing, we don't use preservatives mm -hmm. in our cakes. We do custom-made cakes, mm -hmm. fresh cakes. Mm -hmm. If you order today, I tell you, since you put in the next one hour, why? Because I'm baking it from scratch. Mm -hmm. It's custom-made. We've given it all mm. the attention. Mm, I love even. I can feel the love in it. You know, yeah, mm -hmm. for us, I tell people the secret ingredient is love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love doing what I do. It shows. So, <laughs> yeah. So, basically, uh, being afraid, not really. Mm -hmm. But the mistake I did, I didn't know how to do costing properly. Mm -hmm. And that's why nowadays I had to incorporate it in all my classes. Mm -hmm. Whether it's the yogurt and ice cream or the baking, mm -hmm. I had to include the costing class. Because mm -hmm. what I did, I didn't know how to do costing properly. So what I did, I kind of to a certain cake house. Even if I'm not charged, I said, I'm going to charge 100 less uh -huh. so that I'm able to sell. Uh -huh. Not knowing that their costs are very different from mine. Mm -hmm. You know, mm. I don't really know what they use. Mm -hmm. And that's what I tell clients. When oh. a client comes to me and tells me, uh -huh. Muna kiki yako ni 3,000 for a kg. Mm -hmm. Na supermarket naona ni mia nane. Mm. I keep telling them, I don't know what they have used. Yeah. I only know what, what I have ingredients. used. Because mm. we use premium ingredients. Mm -hmm. We don't compromise when it comes to quality. Mm -hmm. If a cake comes out and I'm not happy with it, I trash it. Where? Yes. If I'm not happy with the texture, watch a taste. And then she wipe it to go to a trash. Yes, yes. So if you don't like it, we'll eat it. So for us, cakes is not just uh -huh. baking. Uh -huh. We have in mind. I tell people when I'm baking, you see, like, the way I've done this cake, mm -hmm. ordinarily, I put fillings in our cakes. Mm -hmm. If it's an orange cake, I put orange card. Mm -hmm. Freshly hey. made from scratch. Hey. If it's pina colada, I use pineapple filling. Mm -hmm. So for us, it's not just a cake. We make sure that you're not mm. going to taste such a cake anywhere else. It's an experience. Thank you. Mm. We sell you an experience mm -hmm. such that at Okiwa Mombasa, I say, I see cake here, I bakers. Mm. I don't want it. Ooh. So it's not just a cake. How do we start ordering it once again? How do we find you on social media? And all we are on things? Instagram, mm -hmm. uh, eBakers Creations. We are on Facebook, uh, eBakers, e-bakers, you'll see some capital letters. But even if you just write at eBakers Creations, it will still bring the page. And uh, I've been on YouTube, but I've been away for some time, but I'm coming back with some more recipes. Mm -hmm. I share recipes where you can just bake something at home. Mm -hmm. And the YouTube channel is called Baking It in Life. Mm. Why Baking, Baking It in, in Life? life? Because mm -hmm. um, I, I actually rebranded. Mm. It was just about baking. Mm. But now I want also to incorporate not just the baking, but also Baking It in Life. Like... You're making it in life, but like you're baking your life. That's <laughs> something like that. So also about the GBV activity, just being able to bring people on board, people who've gone through GBV, also trying to give them new skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we already have some recipes that you can try. Just check baking it in life, mm -hmm. and you'll see the content we've already created. Mm -hmm. I've taken a long break. There's mm -hmm. a lot that was happening in between, work -wise and all that. Mm -hmm. I've been doing lots of training, because I don't only train in Nairobi. I train countrywide, Busia, Kisumu, mm -hmm. Kakamega, mm -hmm. Eldoret, Nakuru. Where? So that long break for regional training made me take a break from YouTube because mm -hmm. it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. But now we are back. You should expect to see some videos in the next few days. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you clap yourself once in a while? Like, good job, Esther, you're doing job. I actually, I didn't know what the impact, what I have, what I do has until I get it from my students. Mm -hmm. Because you see, for you, you feel like you're doing something that is so natural to you. Mm -hmm. But especially, I remember I was telling somebody on Women's Day, mm -hmm. the messages I got from my students. And I'm thinking, wow. People oh. telling you how, especially the yogurt class, like we have one tomorrow. It's in Kasarani, mm -hmm. just it's a journey house. Mm -hmm. It's a bakery as well. 
because sometimes uh, my trainings are hosted in bakeries or restaurants, institutions. Wow. I was in Nanyuki, actually that's where I got the flu from. Mm, sorry. I was in Nanyuki a few days ago. Mm. I was training somebody, a mama, nice lady. She relocated to Kenya. She has her cows, just showing her how to get four times of the income she's getting from her cows. And she's so happy. I taught her to do mazualala, like from yogurt. The sauce, like me. Yes, I spent two days there. To Nakamua, to Natanga yogurt, and now I've noticed there's something like this before. You see? You're so changing lives. I hope you know that. Uh, you see the word, you, the, the line you've said just now? Mm -hmm. I think I get that line almost every day mm. from my students. Something, I didn't think I was doing anything much. There's a lady who told me the other day, Essa, my husband lost her, his job during COVID. We had kids even in campus. Through the one day course that mm. you gave me, I'm able to take care of my children, pay campus. One day course, you said? Yes. Come here to Konao Kesho. It's a one day course. Yani ni kaya tunawe one day na iza tengeneza pesa. From morning to evening. And then now I add you to mentorship, a lecture mentorship program. Like if you have any challenge, uh -huh. come to me. Mm -hmm. And like the one for tomorrow, I've even invited somebody from the bank to show people wow. how to get finances. Ah. Yes, for your business from a bank. We yeah. also even teach you how to register your business from the e-citizen to the CAB certification. Wow. Like we work with you literally that way. And it is a word that makes me happy at the end of the day. When my student told me, I learned more than I came here to learn. Mm -hmm. You exceeded my expectation. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything more. I don't think there's anything that is as fulfilling I've ever done in my life. Apart from parenting, mm -hmm. the training I do is the most fulfilling thing I've ever done. There, I've been feeling my pocket is empty. I'm you going know, to look for you. creating employment, <laughs> being able to, you mm -hmm. know, empowering women. Mm -hmm. Some are much older than me. Some are retired. Some are... They, we also have men who come for training, by the way. Aww. Yes, we have. I remember, I think, one of my first students, he was almost retiring. Mm -hmm. So he wanted a side hustle. Now he's doing very well. That's he's supplying supermarkets with, with yogurt. <sighs> yes. Because we take you through the whole process mm -hmm. up to the CAB certification because we also want you to operate with the right papers. Mm -hmm. Not that you cannot work from home and sell your guts, mm -hmm. but there are those who want to supply, mm -hmm. like to institutions and all that. Mm -hmm. And some of these institutions, they'll ask you for the CAB certification, Kenya Bureau of Standards. Mm -hmm. So we take you through the whole process. Mm -hmm. Imagine this one day training, all that. I show you how to market, I show you how to cost. Unakujanga asubui, tunatoka jioni, unenda home na yogurt, na ice cream. Booking an appointment, Steph, I can hear you. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've just been reminded of a very beautiful director, stroke producer. Her birthday is coming up. Jeffrey, don't panic. We have a plug. Now we know where to get your cake from. We'll pick a two order so that we don't have to guess what flavor you like. So while we were, while we were having conversations, we put sprinkles, sprinkles on the top. Decorative. Mm -hmm. You can put your message maybe on the board if there's space. Oh. In that case, use a bigger board. Mm -hmm. If not, you don't really have to put sprinkles. Mm -hmm. It's just that we didn't have a message to write. would have written it on top. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing is, some people ask me, you can you decorate in five minutes. You can use Wow. What people don't know is, it didn't take me one day mm -hmm. to be able to decorate a cake mm -hmm. in this long. Mm -hmm. The first cake I made, nearly mm -hmm. decorate the whole night. Cake not turn heavy. <laughs> like the whole night, and the problem with this cream, ukiweka sana inaza kuyeyuka. So it took me the whole night. Usha chukua pesa ya customer. I've had an experience Boy. of even going to deliver a client's cake, mm -hmm. your wedding, mm -hmm. inavunjika kwa barabara. Yes. What did you do? <laughs> My, I my got twist. To, no, I got to the location, uh -huh. tried to put things together. Uh -huh. We had an amazing groom. Uh -huh. uh, I think uh, he's a British guy. Uh -huh. So he just came, and the bride, uh -huh. they came and told me, Esther, these things happen. Oh. You, you didn't wish for Maybe this to happen. God. And he told me, you know what? Just go wear your dancing shoes, come and celebrate. Wow. So he just told me, set the kick the way it is. Uh -huh. But I'm telling you, I cried. Oh. In fact, I remember it was, the accident started on Mombasa and I was going to Karen. Mm. It was in 2015, end of 2015. Mm. I parked in the middle of the road. 
and I cried. Oh. So I'm even getting more late. Frustrations. You know? Eh. By the time I was getting to the venue, <laughs> mm. I was feeling frustrated. So when they came and told me that, I was like, wow, there are people who, who are like this, like they really exist. That's well, yeah. But after that, it took a two months break. <laughs> no, I couldn't. To Wait. compose. Hey, my friend. <laughs> you can collapse. Hey. 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 You just said broke my heart, did a thing. So like I can only imagine what you were feeling at the hey. time. Wait. It's not a joke. But I took a month. But I realized mm. there are some things I didn't really know how to do correctly. Mm. So what I've done over the years, if I tell you every year I have to attend two trainings. Wow. With... Uh, you look for somebody who has a, uh, an extra thing that you don't know. Let's say making flowers differently, mm -hmm. sugar flowers. Or maybe you like the way her finishing on her cakes. Mm -hmm. Like recently I trained with one of the best South African cake artists. Mm -hmm. And it was gosh cakes. Mm -hmm. She's South African. She's known. She's very popular in South Africa. And sometimes you have to invest a lot of money. Because like that one we paid 90000 for four days. Okay. Nine days. But you see, I, if I want to train somebody, I don't want to give you half-baked information. Mm -hmm. And I have to be sure I'm perfect at what I do. So I have to show you all these tricks. I've traveled to Vihiga, Kwanzaa, when I was expectant to learn how to wow. decorate. I've trained with some West Africans, Kenyans who, who have been training for longer, mm -hmm. you know. So you have to really, I tell people the same way doctors keep going back to school. Mm. Lawyers keep going back to school. So if this is what I do for a living, mm -hmm. where should I settle? I really like that you remain teachable. There are people I know who think now that they are at their no. peak, that's it. That's I don't even that. shy off. There's a class I attended, mm -hmm. and some people are actually beginners. And they're like, Esther, how come you came to class? Mm -hmm. And I've been looking up to you. <gasps> I said, mm -hmm. I came here to learn something that I don't know. Mm -hmm. Believe you me, I might have spent, let's say, 50, like 50K. Mm -hmm. And I learned only one thing. Mm -hmm. But you see, I wouldn't have learned one, that one thing if, if I didn't attend gone. that mm -hmm. class. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's good to learn what other people are doing differently. Mm -hmm. Sometimes even with my friends who are my sugar sisters, we call each other sugar wow. sisters. Uh -huh. Maybe we're in the same industry, but she knows something maybe I don't know. Mm -hmm. Or she's perfect in one area that I'm not. Mm -hmm. So most of the people who have who attended my yogurt classes are actually bakers. Mm -hmm. And they come to me. Some of them are experts in baking. Mm -hmm. But they've come to learn from me something they don't, a skill they don't have. So when somebody is unteachable, I really don't know what kind of life you're living. I pray for you. There are trends every day <laughs> coming up. Mm -hmm. So you really know how you need to learn a new skill every day. All right. I, I wish this conversation. conversation. What? I think you're only matter. I'm ready to eat the cake now, guys. Because you're such a cute. Eh? Wamboy. I'm not in Wamboy. I'm Wamboy as well. Ah! Yes. Okay, okay, <laughs> all right, sorry. Yes, at Y254 Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on the gram, we have reached the end of this particular interview. I have had an amazing time. I hope you had an amazing time watching it. She is phenomenal. Once again, remind us how we can find you and have some of this yumminess in our lives. So you can find us on Instagram. Here's my camera. But or that one. Camera ni mingi buwana. So, yeah, they confuse you. You can find us on Instagram. Uh -huh. And as eBakers Creations, mm -hmm. you can find us on Facebook at eBakers. But even if you just type at eBakers Creations, mm -hmm. you'll find us. And you can reach us on our business line 0734 I'll repeat mm -hmm. 0734 You don't even need to come physically. Mm -hmm. But our outlet is on Kiambu Road at Tendegua Ridge Center. Mm -hmm. And Siokimau. Uh, Katani Road at a place called Mama Round to go to Barabara. Mm. But you know what? At Osichoke, send a WhatsApp message. We'll respond promptly. We'll give you ideas of what you can come up with. We've begged for brides we've never met. We meet wow. at the wedding grounds mm -hmm. and they trust us paying full. Wow. Yes, and we do not disappoint. <laughs> so we do deliveries. So reach, us, reach out, DM message whatsapp message is respond very promptly mm -hmm. so and you can call if you just love calling mm -hmm. yeah all right thank you so very much for allowing us to host you into your homes into your spaces from myself at color me Val, from stephanie ayeta on our socials and brian sakwa 101 we wish you a fantastic day we'll see you tomorrow on wcw all right be good thank what's a minute shiba thanks <laughs>